Hi, my name is John Herity and I work with Standard Electric Supply. I'm happy to introduce today to you a augmented reality solution um, from Schneider. This leverages a tablet and an industrial PC primarily. What is really nice about the solution is that any third party component can be used in a solution for this. You do not need to have Schneider Electric products to make this work. This is an open protocol solution, so it supports Ethernet IP, Profinet, Modbus TCP, any Ethernet protocol that would come in to an industrial PC. So what makes this solution run is a tablet and a industrial PC. So the industrial PC is running a, a runtime software and it's communicating wirelessly to a free application on a tablet. The tablet could be an Android tablet or an Apple tablet, it doesn't matter. And uh, then you would connect and see the augmented elements. Let me just show you uh, briefly how this works. So if I stand, come forward here a little bit, you can see the augmented elements kind of popping out. And I'll get into that in more detail here uh, very soon. Um, what we call this here is the Industrial Internet of Things demonstration. So I have a power supply, a toggle switch, a programmable logic controller, and my Magellus Edgebox industrial PC. And uh, what this solution does for uh, industrial users is it helps improve operator efficiency. So if you imagine you have a machine and suddenly there's an error, typically what you would do is make a phone call, grab someone that knows something about the machine technically to help troubleshoot it. Now you can have your operators directly go and see what's wrong with the machine by just hovering their camera across the machine to see what uh, the error is. And that would pop up, it could be uh, showing up in red. You could get instant information, you get instant up-to-date technical documentation. That includes CAD drawings, electrical schematics. Um, you can access manuals, any, any sort of documentation to help troubleshoot. This makes it really easy to locate the information and it helps keep everything organized. This can help reduce troubleshooting by up to 50% with asset-specific real-time data. Um, it also can help reduce training costs. So you can walk an operator through a step-by-step -step procedure to troubleshoot a specific issue. And uh, this also helps elim eliminate or reduce human error by giving that step-by-step -step, um, confirmation to make sure that the operator is doing the things in the right order and they're doing it the correct way. All right, so we are here connected live. And as you can see, there are four different elements. These are called points of interest that show up on this scene. And uh, down in the bottom right, I have the production count for my controller. And I have a toggle switch and I can uh, access this in real time. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, turn this on and you're gonna see that production count going up. So I have a little relay on there that's toggling on and off so you can hear some sound. I can turn that off and then it will stop counting. All of the information here is available and if you don't wanna hold the tablet, there's a little, uh, a little icon down here. This is this freeze icon. You can see it right, uh, right up here, this little snowflake. So if I hit the snowflake icon, I can now set my tablet down. And what's nice is that even though it's frozen, I can still toggle this switch and the data will come in. So this gives you that hands-free. A lot of people worry about that. Oh, well, uh, it's not safe. Well, you can pause it, set it down on the table, and then uh, go into your documentation. So this is actually better than wearing a virtual reality headset, for example. And then at any time that you want to um, go back and unfreeze it, you can just hit the snowflake icon once again, and then everything will come back to the original settings. And I'm just using a pinch zoom, zoom in, zoom out, to uh, allow me to see everything. Um, I can go into the controller here and I can pull up its data sheet and I can scroll down to, I know uh, already where I'm going here, and in page 10, I have the wiring diagram and I could do a search for that um, by just saying wiring diagram. Um, I can also do uh, voice to text, so I can say clearance. And clearance will give me information about um, where, you know, how much space I need to have 
um, for uh, this controller in order to prevent it from overheating. Um, so these types of pieces of information are very useful. Also, if you have an issue, um, in a, an alarm, for example, you could have this turn red. There's uh, an element that you can add into the development, the builder software, to overlay some red um, in, in different colors. So that's nice uh, to give that extra visualization of where your issues may lie. Um, also here I have a catalog for the industrial PCs um, from Schneider Electric. Up here I have the catalog for the power supplies from Schneider Electric. You can even put videos inside of here. So if you want an operator to uh, understand how to troubleshoot something, you can have a, a very easy to understand instructional video. Um, lastly, imagine you have an, an enclosure on site and you don't want an operator to open it up because of arc flash and safety requirements. You can virtually go inside of your enclosure, zoom in and see what elements you have. And then in addition to that, you can store your electrical schematics and you can date stamp it. So I can come in here and see all of my information. Believe it or not, we actually used this, um, this setup to wire the demo um, for this little uh, Zelio relay we put on the side here. So to understand how it get, got wired to the outputs, we leveraged the augmented reality um, documentation to get to that uh, information. And that concludes this video demonstration of EcoStructure Augmented Operator Advisor. I hope you found this useful and I hope you can apply it toward your own operations. Thanks a lot for watching and we'll see you in the next one. Thank you.